Okay, so in the last part of the lecture, I'm now going to talk about another reason uh, for thinking that there's something wrong in this contemporary attention economy. So should attention be uh, for sale at all? Should be you know, suggested that the attention merchants just sell our attention to the advertisement industry? Is that, is that acceptable? Um, now, not everything is arguably okay to sell on the market. Uh, people have different views about where the line falls, but I'll mention some examples. Um, so if something is very central to our identity, who we are, but we, when something that has maybe value in itself, then arguably there should be limits to selling. So many people think, for example, that it's problematic to um, sell pregnancy, that is use surrogacy mothers. So mothers who um, carry a baby to term for nine months and then give the baby to um, those who were paid for, for that service, that is paid for the service of having used nine months of your life to bring a baby to term and then give the baby to the person who, uh, who paid for it. So surrogacy is illegal in Norway, and there's sometimes been a bit of a controversy about um, whether it's okay for people to go and go to other places where surrogacy is not illegal to get um, the services there. So wh why were people worried about this? I mean, one worry is that it's, you know, pregnancy is such an intimate connection between the mother and the infant that's in, in, in her whether it's not as her biological baby. Um, and uh, it makes that valuable connection now um, dependent on these commercial interests. Um, so that's just one reason why, that's one reason why many people think surrogacy is, it shouldn't be, uh, um, so pregnancy shouldn't be for sale. Um, now, what I've suggested is that attention is this thing that's central to our, the universe, who we are. It's central to our identity, who, how we experience ourselves in the world. That, that, that is our, ten, the, our patterns of attention. They describe the universe we appear to ourselves and have it. So then arguably attention shouldn't be for sale. Um, sorry, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, so, sorry. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Um, so arguably, if it's central to our self-conception, then maybe it shouldn't be for sale. There's another reason though. And um, that is the argument for the demo de from the democratic requirement of attention. You find some parts of that also in Williams. Um, so, Deborah Satz, who's written about this issue of what should be sold, can be sold, uh, she argues that democratic societies need to produce and reproduce certain capacities in their members. So their members need to have certain capacities um, to participate in society so that they can then operate together as free and equal citizens. So for example, they must be able to exercise their rationality in thinking about what's in the common good. Okay. Um, and so, for example, and, and so that need to have citizens that can think about the common good, that can rationally interact with each other, that can kind of form society together, requires certain things to be not just, um, to not just, um, commercialized. So for example, schooling. There's a reason schooling isn't um, um, usually commercialized because it, it would put this capacity to produce citizens that can participate in society at the mercy of these professional actors. And that may, may then be pro problematic because um, um, because then they, they have like access to, they can manipulate, if, if they, then the, the citizens wouldn't sort of be able to interact with each other in the way that democracy requires. 
Um, the problem is that this massive and advanced attention engineering that I've described may undermine just those capacities by, for example, depleting the citizen's capacity for sustained attention or the development of those capacities in children. So arguably in a democracy, everyone must have mental capacities to actively participate as citizens and the deployment and cultivation of these capacities shouldn't be fully the mercy of, mercy of commercial actors. So if you think about attention as central to our um, capacity to actively participate in society as a citizen, then arguably that shouldn't be for sale. Okay, so that's another argument for thinking that attention shouldn't be for sale in the way it currently is. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is a long lecture. I have a lot to say about this. I'm looking forward to your ideas about it.